Hey folks, my name is Mordecai the Hunter, and I shoot cowboy action. One of the best ways you can improve your game is to have someone take video while you run a stage. I thought it might be helpful to have some of my footage from a monthly match and go over what went well and what didn't go so well. We'll start off with some first person video so you can feel like you're in the action and see what I saw. Then we'll take a step back and review it from third person to see what really happened. This week, we're shooting with the Texas Ten Horns in Leonard, Texas. I'm here for the Buck and Broncos. again Unfortunately, the footage for stage six is no good. Sorry about that. Moving on. So now that you've seen how I experienced five of six stages today, let's take a look at the third person videos and see where we can improve. Okay, so stage one, you'll notice I have some problems with the first pistol. What happened was, is I wasn't moving my thumb away from the hammer. So the hammer was actually hitting my thumb on the way down and it was causing the rounds not to go off. Then I have a hitch in my rifle near the end of the string, and even though I managed not to jack a round out, I missed the target. <sighs> oh well, now I don't have to worry about shooting clean. If you're not familiar, a lot of clubs give out pins for shooting six stages without any misses. Here it's a armadillo. Here I've got another hitch in the rifle. This time it is bad enough that I actually jack around out, so I have to reload. So other than that catastrophe, I was pretty happy with the rest of the round. Transition from rifle to shotgun was good. I do like to move in between the shotgun targets so you see me take a step. And the transition from the shotgun to pistols was pretty good, even though I tried to put my pistol away a little early. So obviously my time suffered a little bit, but oh well, could have been worse. When I handed my phone off, the camera somehow ended up in time-lapse mode for stages 3 and 4, so we'll have to heckle from first person for those stages. Let's do it! Stand by.
here's yet another rifle pitch. I really need to practice being deliberate with opening and closing the lever. Oh! The RO is yelling hold because there's an empty shell still on the shotgun. I think I started to let go of the shells in my hand, so when I went to load they weren't in the correct position and I struggled. I should have dropped them and gone back to my belt. I'm pretty sure this is the Great Spaghetti Western stage that I bombed, and I'm here for redemption. Pains again! I put my rifle on the right side of the table, so I had plenty of room to dump the shotgun on the left side while I was running by. Running the guns from right to left is also helpful for cross draw, so I don't have to worry about doing the dance. This was hands down my best stage today. I'm sure the third person view might have revealed somewhere I could improve on, but for now, I'm just taking the win. For this stage, your hands are starting on the door frame. I put my hands as low down as possible so that they're closer to my guns. I missed the very first shot into that armadillo. Gotta pay attention to your front sights. It was a great looking run till that last shot. I did check the round this time though, and it was a light primer strike, so not my fault for a change of pace. If you listen to other club members, those armadillos jump. I'm starting to believe them. You've probably noticed that I start with my left foot forward. This is a natural shooting stance for me, and has the added benefit of keeping me well within the 170 rule for my cross draw pistol. Oh my god, two rifle misses, and they were both on the right-hand target. I just didn't move the rifle over far enough. <sighs> Guess you can't miss fast enough. Okay, so there were a few important takeaways from today's stages. First, I need to make sure I'm moving my thumb out of the way of my pistol hammer. I only did that on one stage, so maybe that's not as big a deal. The rifle seemed to give me a lot of trouble today. Part of that could be because it's dirty or needs adjustment, but it's more likely the result of me trying to speed up my rifle work. I'll clean it when I get home, adjust the mainspring a little to fix the light hammer strike, and I'll try to focus on being more deliberate while running it. It's also clear that I need to work on some rifle reloads. I see myself searching for the cartridge on my belt, so I need to work on some muscle memory there, and the rifle buttstock is coming off of my shoulder, which isn't a good thing either. Hopefully I can work on that at home with some dummy rounds. Finally, monthly matches like this are a good time to push our limits and try out new things, but I don't want to forget that I can't miss targets fast enough to make up the time. Four misses over six stages added 20 seconds to my final time, and dropped my overall standing down to third. I think that's all I got for today. I hope you found this helpful, or at least enjoyed watching. I'm always looking to improve, so if you think I missed something or have a suggestion, let me know in the comments. See y'all on the range.